गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे यू आर गोइंग फॉर एक्सरसाइज नाइन पॉइंट टू दैट इज सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर रेशियो एंड प्रपोर्शन इन द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द रेशियो नाउ सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज इज वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट प्रपोर्शन एस आई हैव टोल्ड इन द इंट्रोडक्शन प्रपोर्शन वॉट इज इट टू इक्वल एंड रेशियोज आर कॉल प्रपोर्शन और एल्स द सेकेंड मेथड इज इफ four numbers are in proportion then the product of extremes equal to product of middle terms that is means product of extremes is equal to product of means so either way you can find you can find equivalent ratios or else two ratios are equal then they are in proportion or else you find the product of extremes and product of means and prove that both of them are equal Okay, so the first question is check whether the given ratios form a proportion or not. How will you check? The first question is four ratios six and twelve is to eighteen. So if both of them are equal, that means you can do it as fraction, or else as ratio, simplest form. Then if they are found to be equal, they are in proportion. So four upon six is two by three. And what about twelve upon eighteen? Six twos are twelve, and six threes are eighteen. Again, it is two upon three. So they are in four ratio six and twelve ratio eighteen are in proportion. Are in proportion because both of them are equal. Now the next question is fifteen ratio forty five and forty is to one twenty. That is again we will do it as fifteen by forty five. One five are fifteen and three fifteen are forty five. Then what about forty by one twenty? Forty by one twenty is again zero zero cancels. Four by twelve it is one by three. So one by three equals one by three. So fifteen ratio forty five and forty is to one twenty are in proportion. Okay, so both of them are in proportion. So you got the answer. Okay, now the third one. Third one, it is given as fourteen is to four and eighteen is to six. So what about fourteen by four? It is seven by two, and eighteen upon six. It is three by one. Are they equal? One is seven by two and another is three by one. They are not equal, so they are not in proportion. Fourteen ratio four and eighteen ratio six are not in proportion. How did you get not in proportion? Because you found out that you calculated that both are not equal. Equivalent ratios are proportions. So here both are not. So this is. Here they are not in proportion. Here they are in proportion, and this is also in. This is not in proportion. So hope you understood. Now the next one is write true or false. Sixteen is to twenty-four equal to twenty is to thirty. Again, you have to find whether they are in proportion. You have to write true or false. So sixteen upon twenty-four. It is in the table of eight. Very good. So it is two by three. What about twenty upon thirty? Twenty upon thirty is yes, equal to two upon three. So it is true. Okay. Now next one, five point two ratio three point nine and three is to four. By seeing itself, it will divide in what five point two ratio. Three point nine. So you can try out. Uh, we can do one thing. We can do multiply it and find the these are product of means and product of extremes whether they are equal. So it is five point two into five point two into which you multiply into four and three point nine into three. This is Middle terms or means the product, 
and 5.2 into 4 is product of extremes. If they are found to be equal, that is second method we are doing here. Okay. So, 4 twos are 8, 4 fives are 20. You got it as 20.8. And here, 3 nines are 27, balance 2, 3 threes are 9 plus 2, 11. So, it is 11.7. .7. Are they equal? They are not equal. That means, when 4 ratios, that is 2 ratios, equivalent ratios, or they are in proportion, Proportion means product of extremes equal should be equal to product of means. Here one is 20.8, 5.2 into 4 and another is 3.9 into 3 that is 11.7. So they are not equal so they false or not in proportion. Right true or false it is false. So I am going to underline it with the right hand that is true. And this is, result is false. Now what about the third question? 21 is to 6 is the ratio. You have to find whether they are true or false. So 21 upon 6 means both of them are in the tables of 3. So 7 upon 2 and 35 upon 10. Both of them in the tables of 5. So 7 5s are and 2 5s are. So they are equal. So what will you write here? Yes. True. Here this is also true. So you got it as true. So you understood? Now we will go for move for the third question. Which are in proportion? That is uh, the numbers are given 12, 16, 6, 8. If they are in proportion what did you you know that product of means Product of extremes equal to product of means. Isn't it? Product of means. So here I am product of extremes. That means these two. And this is product of means. Center one. Okay. So it is 12 into 8 and 16 into 6. 8 to this one 96. 6, 6 are 36, 3, 96. So, they are equal. When they are equal, this one, 12, 16, 6 and 8 are in proportion. So, both ways I am doing. Whether they are in proportion or they are, um, how to find? That is product of means is equal to product of extremes or you can divide 12 by 16, you find out the value and 6 by 8, you find out the value. If both of them are equal, then they are in proportion. So, this is the answer. They are in proportion. Now, next one. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2, 3, 4, 5 means we will do 2 into 5 and 3 into 4. Are they in? By just watching it itself, you will come to know. 2 into 5 is 10. And 4 into 3 is 12. So, they are not equal. So, what is answer? Yes. Very good. That is, they are not in. They are in, in proportion. They are not in proportion. Not in proportion. So, you got the answer as they are not in proportion. So, this one is not in proportion. This is in proportion. So, how to find? That is product of extremes is equal to product of means or else you have to find the first two, the fraction should be equal to the other next two. Okay. Yes, students, we are going for the next question. Here we are continuing with proportion. So, what did you learn today? You have already done in the introduction and today you have learned that if two ratios are in proportion, that is a set of this one, then you will have product of extremes is equal to product means. Here are the following statements true. 39 kg to 36 equal to 26 to 24. Yes, 39. It goes in 3. Okay. So, 39 by 36 it is 13 upon 12 and 26 ratio 24 is again 13 upon 12 because I have the common, taken out the common factor, the common factor is 2. Now, both the uh, fractions of this one are equal. 
So is are the following statements true? They, here there is an equal to sign. Yes. So it is true. Following statement is true because both are equal. So it is true. Now next one is 45 kilometer to 60 kilometer equals to 12 hours to 15 hours. The same method we are doing. 45 upon 60. So both goes yes. 5 yeah you can divide with 15. 15 into 3 and 15 into 4. So here you got it as 15 into 3 upon 15 into 4. So cancels that is 3 by 4. Now what is what about 12 and 15? Yes 12 and 15 is very good because they are in the tables of 3. So 3 fours are 3 into 4 and 3 into 5. So what happens? 3 is common here. So 4 upon 5. Are they? No. So it is false. So what will you write here? Because one is 3 upon 4 and another is 4 upon 5. So it is false. So the second one, first question was true. Are they, are the statements true is the question. So the first one was true and the second is false. Now we will go for the fifth question. That is determine if the ratios form a proportion. The ratios given, do they form a proportion? If they are in proportion, that means we will put that proportional sign and you will find the product of means is equal to product extremes. Write the middle terms and extreme terms when the ratio. First, you have to find out whether they are in proportion and if they are in proportion, you have to write the middle terms and see middle terms and extreme terms. Okay, first you have to find whether they form a proportion. So, 1 meter. So, 25 centimeter and 1 meter. For the ratio, it has to be the same unit. So, 1 meter means 100 centimeter. So, 25 centimeter to 100 centimeter. So, how much it is? 1 ratio 4. Isn't it? So, it is 1. 1 is to 4. And what about 40? 40 ratio is to 160. 0, 0 cancels. That is again 1 is to 4. So, both are equal. So, when both are equal means they are in proportion. They are in proportion. So, you write here they are in proportion. Now, what will you do? If they are in proportion means, how will you write? It is 25 centimeter ratio 1 meter. Then, we will put the proportionality sign that is 4 dots. And next is rupees 40, comma, sorry, ratio rupees 160. So here, which are the middle terms? These are the middle terms. And which are the extremes? That is uh, 25 and 160. These are the middle terms and these are the extremes. So here, you are asked to find, uh, write the middle terms. So, middle terms, middle terms are 1 meter and rupees 40 and what about the extremes? Extremes are, extremes equals 25 centimeter and rupees 160. Okay, so rupees 160, that means extremes, far away, uh, this one. Next is 2 kg and 80 kg and 30 seconds and 5 minutes. So here you had to convert. These are in kg. So here you had to convert to seconds. 5 minutes in 1, one minute equals 60 seconds. So 5 minutes equals 5 into 60. That is 300 seconds. 300 seconds. So it is here. 2 ratio 80 means it is 1 is to 40. And what about 30? 30 is to 300 you got. That is 1 is to 10. Because 30 into 10 is 300. So are they equal? They are not equal. So what will you? So if they are not in proportion, there is no way to find middle terms and extreme terms. So what will you write? They are not in proportion. They aren't in proportion. So, when they are not in proportion, you don't have to find out the middle terms and extreme. Now, next one, 39 to 65. Both are in liters. So, it is 1 is to 
39 is 13 into 3. So 3 is to 5. Because 13 into 5 is 65. And here 6 bottles is to 10 is again 3 is to 5. Because I had taken out the common factor 2. Now both are equal. So they are in proportion. They are in proportion. So when they are in proportion, what is your next step? You have to find out proportion. You have to find out the middle term and the extremes. So here 39, first you have to write 39 liters is to 65 liters. Then the proportionality sign 6 bottles to 10 bottles. After writing the proportionality sign, now you will find out what is the middle term, these two. Isn't it? The middle term is 65 and 6 bottles. Okay, this is the middle term and this is the extreme. So, you will have that middle term, middle terms equals 65 liter and 6 bottles and extremes is Extremes means far away. The far away is 39 liter and 10 bottles. Okay. So, what did you learn today? You learned that proportion are equivalent ratios. And if two ratios are equal, they are called in proportion. Otherwise, and if two ratios are equal, then you can find out that is product rule. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. So either way you had to find out whether it is false statement or true statement or determine whether they are in proportion or not. Okay.